Okay, so here's what I think is going on. You have the basic experience of vibrations and sensations in your body. And then just to the left of that, you say, okay, well, maybe these are like waves, a way of describing it. Okay, you have the sensations. Then you go up one level of abstraction. And you say, okay, mind, body, awareness, tool. I have, I'm like a spirit or a thought process in a body of all kinds of sensations. To the left of that, okay, my body has basic preferences, politics, religion, economics, sexuality, family, preferences. Okay, this is the level of the, body, the spirit in the body. Then the spirit looks at itself and says, oh, you know, this body has all kinds of parts in a very definite organization, parts of the body. And then the sociologist will say, Look, it's a vicious triangle. You have population, increases pollution, and that increases poverty, no matter how you look at it. These human bodies are eating up the planet. Okay, that's the level of the human body organization. Then you go up. First of all, you have the brain, and the brain thinks in numbers. You start counting. One, two, three, four, five, and then you make all these mathematical numerical systems, math, map of mathematics, but then Suddenly you start having a lot of thoughts, which are, wait a minute, we have the inconsistent set of axioms in mathematics. We know that not all thoughts are rational, and if they were all rational, we wouldn't include the, encompass the whole range of human experience. So now what we have here on the left of this one is the irrational axis. Okay, how you organize your thoughts, which are not all logical. Back to the right. Then we start to notice that the physical world can be mathematically described. So then we go up to this map and um, we have the map of physics. Okay, so the physical world follows these mathematical relationships very closely and all the time. And um, then we start to notice that there are applications to these physical, to these scientific ideas. Um, so then we have um, chemistry, the atomic structure, plus and minus, orbitals of electrons um, like clouds. Okay, but then we go back up to the, this leads to the map of chemistry, but wait, the physical world, this is, to the left of the map of the physical world is family. Okay, here's my family, picture of them. The, at the level of structures, physical things that are solid in the world that we're sure exist, the family, you know, your family exists and it's real. Okay, now let's go up to chemistry. Chemistry is a subset of physics. Here's the map of chemistry. These maps were made by Dominic Wallerman. Okay, so chemistry, atoms, 118 stable atoms. The ones in the human body are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and, oxygen, and nitrogen. They make up most of the body. And we go up to this way, molecular biology, and what a lot of people think of as chemistry is um, chemicals between people and chemicals inside yourself. And so we have the experience of yourself and your body, the neurotransmitters. GABA, glutamate, serotonin, dopamine, noradrenaline, adrenaline, endorphins, and acetylcholine. This is basically what you feel inside your body in various balanced um, patterns or imbalanced patterns. Then what's up from chemistry? Well, things that you cannot affect in the world. Think the world affects you and you cannot really control it. To the left, what I have here are angels. This is kind of a religious idea, or if you have some kind of um, beliefs about higher order powers that influence you, you can talk about angels. Okay, so let's go back down now. Angels are one level of experience. Then you have neurotransmitters. These are you can control to by behavioral things. Then your family affects you next. And then your irrationality affects you next. We're going down the left side of the map. And then you go down the vicious triangle. We notice that there's all these little fighting games going on and basically we're eating up the planet. Go down from there. My own personal politics, religion, economics, family preferences. And down from there, everything's like a wave-like phenomenon. Let's go up the left side and down the right side. Okay, chemistry is one level of abstraction and chemistry is a subset of physics. Physics is a subset of mathematics. 
Mathematics occurs in the brain. The brain is in the body. You notice it has parts. You notice that the body can be thought of as soft and the mind is in the body. And then you have basic experiences of sensations in your body. Okay, well, this is basically what I think is going on. Um, well, what do you think? Leave some comments. Thanks. Have a good day. Goodbye. Let's, let's have a, a backwards, uh, a more picture of the whole thing at one time. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Goodbye.